Hi. A couple of big casts back, I mentioned tourism, which is mostly high and middle end, which contributes to the destruction of Whitechapel. Apart from hotels, there's the mushrooming numbers of Airbnbs, catering for the younger, noisier tourists. After all, it's party time and too bad if you live next door. This is another factor, pricing and driving us out into overcrowded, overpriced accommodation, then ultimately sofa serving and then maybe street homelessness. We derive no benefit, only precarity and insecurity. The so-called public areas are out of bounds to locals, rich kids only, and they're patrolled by uniformed goons to keep you out. The whole area is becoming sterilised, repackaged. The nearest fish and chip shop charges about three quid for a mere packet of chips. Jack the Ripper spin-offs crowd the pavements. For these tourists lapping up a Disney-fied phony East End, the indigenous population is invisible hidden in desperate situations, in crumbling social housing estates, thousands on a growing waiting list. The local homeless hostel in Dock Street has closed. It's now a swanky backpackers hostel. The historic Whitechapel Bell Foundry, built in the 1500s, is set to become a boutique hood hotel. There are dozens of examples like this within a few minutes walk of each other. In Europe, Venice, Amsterdam, Barcelona, the locals have attempted to stem this blight. Here so far, nothing. This is a logical part of our almost inbred deference to those with wealth. The rest of London, other parts of the country, need to wake up to this menace and do something as it is increasing exponentially. Apart from marginalisation, most of us here in Whitechapel derive nothing positive from any of this. Travel may broaden the mind, but not this packaged, expensive, sterilised corporate experience. Only at mass uprisings, upheavals on the streets to meet our decaying social and political situation here can put an end to the human and social destruction this insane modern tourism brings in its wake. Revolutionary turmoil will keep most of them well away, I'd imagine. Bye.